What's up, YouTube? Welcome to today's hair session. I know y'all see it. It's giving. You like it. I like it. We both like it. Now, if you want to see how I achieve this look and this natural style, keep on watching. And then you got bone straight, baby. Got some caps. Ooh, I got a band. What is basic? I've been trying to get one of these without this sticky part. Got the hair on lashes. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my god, this gonna be hitting. The lace look good. y'all we're gonna go straight into the install so i did want to dye this wig jet black but it didn't work out i wasn't able to do it before the video but the wig actually looked dark already so i'm kind of happy about that i gotta cut this extra lace off i can't see i'm positioning the wig exactly where i want it to lay I'm gonna do three layers this time because I'm gonna keep this weave on for a minute and I want it to lay for at least a good week. All right, so it's pretty much ready to get laid now. So I'm gonna take the extra lace in the front to help me lay. Ooh, oh Lord, y'all. I almost forgot to put my shade on this lace, baby. I am tripping. Okay, I use level 15, level 15, level 15 on the back, Ruby Kisses, and I'm using the darker shade. Alright, now we can lay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm probably looking real crazy right now, but just wait, baby. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to tie my band down on it in the front so it can thick a little bit more before I cut the extra lace off. And then, after I do that, I'm about to start making my part. Okay, y'all, so I decided I'm gonna do a side part. So what y'all finna see me do is high comb this down, get it real, real flat. I wanna try to do a curved part on myself because I always do curved parts on my clients and I be loving it. So we gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna clamp both sides back and I'm gonna see that make a difference. That makes such a difference. Using a razor is so much better than using scissors when you cut your excess lace off because it gives you like it always gives you a jack cut and it makes your lace appear more natural, more realistic. This is the perfect placement for my lace. Here we go. Put some glue on the back of my hand. I'm gonna use the tail end of my comb to get the glue underneath the pieces that didn't get laid. Okay, now I'm gonna allow this to dry using my blow dryer and then we're gonna push the lace into my skin after it's dry. All right, y'all, it's time to use the comb to push the lace in because the glue is dry. Alright, 
I'm gonna go straight in the car and off my side, bro. All right, now I got my sideburns down. I'm gonna go ahead and make my part. I like to do the part before I part off my baby hairs just because it makes more sense. And I already know I want my part curved. So I know my baby hairs got to start up a little higher. And I want it to still look natural, y'all. Because it curl it, but it don't curl it like real tight. It gives you that real look natural look. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all know the music while I curl my hair. natural vibes to me. I'm so in love with the way I did my curved part and the dramatic baby hair but still a little chill. It's not too much. And I love the fact that I can also do this and be like I can make a swoop real quick one time. I love this wig. It's giving everything it needs to give and more. It looks so cute. I'm so happy with the result. Make sure y'all comment y'all thoughts. Let me know how y'all feel about this hair session. 
if you enjoyed if you learned something new what you want to see me do next like let me know make sure you subscribe like and comment your thoughts don't forget to follow me on instagram that's at marshall simone hair see you next time